Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. I see Raymond, or I hear Raymond. Hi. Hi. Who else is there? Oh, there, okay. I see Joy. And lots of people. Storm, Wilson, and Dylan, Kuhn, Lucy. Exciting. All right, so Joy, I think you're going to start, right? And then I'll, I'll begin later on. Except for Joy, your speaker's not on. Hi, all students. Please Hello. stay seated. Our class will begin in a minute. I'll mute myself now. Thank you. Hi, this summer, our amazing teachers has developed English camps for different age groups of students. As you can see, our teachers are all certified and have taught language art for many years at various of universities, such as UC Irvine. Uh, I think somebody's not muted. Oh, okay. Now I'll give you a quick intro for cell camps. For elementary students, cell offer elementary enrichment camp. By joining this camp, students will improve their overall English proficiency, including vocabulary, pronunciation, speaking, reading, and writing skills. Our camp number one, two, three are one week long courses. Learning the language skills you'll need at the grade level or get you advanced for the grade you're going to next year. 大家好，欢迎来到校二零二零夏令营。我们优秀的老师团队为不同年龄阶段的孩子们设计了英语学习的夏令营。大家可以看到屏幕上，我们的老师都具有教学资格证书和多年在大学的教学经验，比如加州大
All right, so let's start first with um, Huyn. I don't, I don't see, but I see the name there. Okay, oh, Dylan, maybe Dylan, let's start with you. So in this, this is for practice speaking. And can everyone see the screen? Yes. Yeah, okay, yes. so this is likes and dislikes. Yes. Very no, good. I can't see the screen. You can't? No, we can only see you. Okay, let me reshare again. Um, let's see, let me reshare. Uh, we can see the screen. Oh, okay. All right. So likes and dislikes. So this is things that you like. You can say what you like. And if you dislike, it means you don't like, we can use the word dislike. So I like or I dislike. It's another way of saying I don't like, but we can use this big word, dislike. So the examples, I like trying new things. If that's true for you, I like trying new things. I maybe trying new food or a new bicycle or new walking or a new something new that you like to try. Um, and I dislike, maybe I dislike running or I dislike eating um, broccoli or I dislike eating spinach, something that you dislike doing. So we have a few of them here. We have 15 of them here. And let, let's take turns. I'm gonna call on you and I want you to tell me if you can read it, the sentence, and then either put I like or I dislike. So Dylan, you're on the top of here, my screen. So let's start with you. Okay, so can you do number one, please? Oh, I like swimming in the pool. Okay, good, very good. I like swimming in the pool too, I do. Okay, and then we have um, Kuhn, K-Q-U-N, Kuhn, is someone there at Kuhn? Uh, Wilson, how about Wilson? Wilson, are you there? Yeah. Okay, Wilson, can you do number two, please? Can, can I you... pass? No. This one's swimming in the ocean. So do you like it or you dislike? Um, well, I dislike. Cause... Okay. Because I... why? The, the ocean is salty. Okay. Yeah. You don't like all the salt on your body or in your mouth probably, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I dislike swimming in the ocean. Okay. Lucy, how about you? You're next. Number three. I like playing basketball. Good. I like playing basketball. Do you play at home or at school? Where do you play? Occasionally. Oh, occasionally. Okay, good. But where? Where do you play? At school? At, the park. at home? At the park? At the park? Oh, nice. Okay, very good. Okay, Raymond, you're next. Um, soccer, number four. I just like playing soccer. Okay, you don't like soccer? No. No? What do you like? I like swimming. Okay, oh good. Okay, and Storm, how about number five? I dislike shopping and same as Raymond, I like swimming in the pool because we have a swimming team and we're on the same swimming team surprisingly. Oh, that's nice. That's good. You like swimming. Yeah, shopping is not so fun, but usually moms like shopping or sometimes girls like shopping. Some boys like shopping too, but yeah, I think if I asked my son, do you like shopping? He would say no, unless it's the computer store or the tennis shoe store. He likes that. Okay. And I don't know, is anyone at the Hun? Q-U-N? Is that a real student there? Um, okay, okay, there. Kun, can you do number six? Number six, listening to music. Can you do that? 
Do you like it or no? I like listening to music. Okay, good. I like listening to music. And what, what kind of music do you like to listen to? When, what kind of music do you like to listen to? Uh, I don't know how many kinds of music. Classical, uh -huh. maybe pop. Uh, I think so. I didn't hear other kind of music. Okay. But but you like many kinds of music then, huh? That's good. I'm glad you like music. I do too. Most of my favorite are classical and pop. Okay. Yeah, I like classical. I like pop too. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, Wilson, we're back to you. Number seven, talking on the phone. Um... <laughs> Well, do you like it or you dislike it? I don't know. Maybe you don't talk too much on the phone, huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe when you're older. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how about number eight? Thank you, Wilson. Um, number eight, Daisy. Daisy, we have singing. Daisy's there, number eight. Is Daisy there? Okay, let's go back to Lucy, number eight. Singing. I dislike singing. Yeah, you don't like it? Well, yeah, I do. Okay, why, why is that? I like singing certain songs. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not a good singer, but I like to sing, but I'm not, not very good at it. Okay, Raymond, washing your mother's car. Okay. You like it? I like it sometimes, or you but I like sometimes it? don't like it. Okay. And do you help her wash it, or do you go to a car wash place? I just spray the car. Oh, that's good. Okay. Okay, Storm, going to the movies. Although, right. I love. Like, now, we can't go. The voice is a little laggy, Ms. Lisa. The microphone is on. Going to the movies. Do you like going to the, the movie? Huh? Ah, are you there? Somehow it just went off. Okay, um, all right, let's go to the next storm. I didn't hear your answer, but do you like going to the movies? Yes, yeah. I love going to movies. Okay. And I once went, I go to a club called Boys and Girls Club, and I had a field trip going to the movies to watch the, um, How to Train Your Dragon. Cool. Not, the, not the Train Your Dragon Force, uh -huh. but Train Your Dragon 3. Okay, that sounds fun. And okay, good. Okay, Lucy, um, exercising. Um, I like no, I like exercising. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What kind of exercise do you do? Um, uh, I ride on my scooter. Okay, good. Yeah, that's good exercise. Okay, how about Raymond, eating at restaurants? Eating I don't like at restaurants. restaurants. No, why not? Depends on what restaurant it is. Okay, would you rather eat at home then? Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's more relaxing at home, huh? All right, um, how about Wilson? Do you like to read novels? Reading novels well, or reading books. 
And you know was fine with me. Okay. Oh, that's good. So you like to read, huh? That's great. Okay, um, Dylan, uh, do you like or dislike dreaming at night? I dislike dreaming at night. Oh, okay, at night, okay. Does it make you feel scared when you dream? Yeah. A little bit? Okay. And let's see, who else do we have here? Oh, uh, Kuhn, waiting in line. Do you like waiting in line? Uh, Kuhn, uh huh. Kuhn, do you like waiting in line? Number 15, when you have to wait in line for something, do you like to wait in line? Do you understand what that means? When all the people have to stand up? Yes. And they wait. Mm -hmm. Do you um, like to I wait in line? Dis dislike waiting in line. Yeah, me too. I dislike. And now we have to distance ourselves from other people. So the line is very long sometimes. That's not fun. All right, good job. All right, we're going to move on to synonyms and antonyms. So let me put that up. Can everyone see the screen? Uh, synonyms and antonyms. Can you see that? All right. So a synonym, if you're not sure what that means, a synonym is a word that has the same meaning as another word. Like if I say that is a large bag of toys, I can also say it's a big bag of toys. It has the same meaning big and large, they are synonyms. They have the same meaning. An antonym, antonym are words that have opposite meanings. Opposite if, if I say like um, black, and white or sour and sweet. I often say that synonym, synonym. And we have antonym. The opposite is an I have a question. Synonym. I have a question. So. Okay. I can't hear you, but I, I assume you're saying it. So we have six, what's your question? Go ahead, Lucy. Uh, um, so um, does it count as an ato, uh, a, antonym? Antonym. Antonym. antonym? antonym. Uh -huh. uh, if you say something like sweet and not sweet, does that count? That um, well, the, usually we try to use one word, so not sweet is two words, but it has the same meaning as an antonym. That's the, the right idea. Uh, synonyms and antonyms are opposites. Yes, uh, yeah. Yeah, synonyms and antonyms are opposites. That's true, yes. All right, so let's start up here, and Storm, you're on my uh, screen first. So number one is kind. The word is kind. Um, What's the synonym we have? Uh, the synonym for kind is nice. Nice, yes, very good. So we have nice. Yes. Wild. Okay. Now we have nice, wild, funny, and best. And Storm yeah. said that the, the best one is nice. So that is correct. All right, number two, Lucy, the word is shiny. Shiny, bright. and we have bright. 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 Yes, See. bright. Yes, bright is the synonym for shiny. Okay, very good. Wilson, you're next. The word is glad. Number three, glad. Happy. Yeah, glad is happy. Good job, Wilson. All right, and number four is big. We had that one earlier, if you were paying attention. Kun, what is the, the synonym of big? Oh, large. Large, yes. 
Excellent job there, Marge. This is a okay. one of our name. Dylan, Dylan, you're next. The word quick. Fast. What's the synonym of fast? Quick. Quick. Very good. Got it. Okay, and number six is noisy. And we are, let me move. Loud. Here. Yeah. Who do we have next? Well, maybe Storm, let's go back up to you. Who, um, it's it's my turn. Oh, Raymond, Raymond, sorry. Noisy. Loud. Loud, yeah. Loud is the opposite of noisy. All right, so those are all synonyms. And um, Lucy, can you, can you make a sentence? Give me a sentence with the word nice. Use the word nice in your own sentence. Can you do that? Um, uh, she is nice. She is nice. Okay, good. Raymond, can you give me a sentence? Right. The highlighter is bright. Okay, the highlighter is bright. Okay, Storm, you're going to be next. Storm, can you give me a sentence with glad? Um, today I am super glad because I went to the pool to play. Okay. And I did went to the pool today. Did go to the pool today. That's good. I'm glad. Okay, uh, Kuhn, can you give me a sentence with large? Okay. The, uh, let me think again. The blue wheel is the largest wheel in, in all. Okay, very good. It's the largest wheel. Okay, good. Wilson, can you give me a sentence with quick? Um, the girl sharpened her pencil very quick. Okay, good. Excellent. All right, let's move on to antonyms. Antonyms, we're going to remember, have the opposite meaning. So the opposite meaning. And the first word there is thick. You can't give it a so what is the opposite of thick? And Raymond, we're back up to you. So thin. Opposite, thin, yes. The opposite of thick is thin. Very good. Okay, and the next word is early. Dylan, what's the opposite of early? Um, we late. Late, yeah. We're late. Okay, very good. And Storm. The word is cold. What's the opposite of cold? Hot. Hot. Yeah, you got it, Storm. All right. And we have slow. What's the opposite of, of slow, uh, Kuhn? Uh, opposite of, of slow, fast. Fast, yes. And your sister's helping you. Good job, sister. Ah, uh, wait, Kuhn. <laughs> but the next word is similar. Lucy, what's the opposite of similar? Similar, different. Different, yeah, very good. Opposite of similar is different. And yeah, that we have, highlighted the C. Yeah, I did, that's okay. Um, the opposite of safe, Raymond, is what? Dangerous. Oh, I didn't hear you, sorry. Can you say again? Dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. Dangerous is the opposite of safe. All right. Oh, and I did that in yellow instead of the green. Let's just, uh, we'll go back again. Raymond, can you give me a sentence with thin? Give me a sentence with thin. Stick and thin. Dylan, late. Can you give me a sentence with late? Oh, they are late for school. They are late for school, yes. Are you ever late for school, Dylan? Yes, one time. Yeah, oh, one time. Oh, one time's not bad. Yeah, sometimes we're late because of traffic. Maybe we slept late. Okay, Storm, can you give me a sentence with hot? Hot. Okay. Um, today, I was eating hot. Tamales. Oh. Which that... I actually didn't eat hot tamales today. Okay. But a different day I did, and I wrote I 
Do you like hot tamales? Yeah. They're good, huh? First time I had one was when I was off-roading. Oh. Yeah, I like hot tamales. I, um, tamale stand. Okay, Kuhn, can you give me a sentence with fast? Uh, I, I can show the video. I did it. So I can't see myself, but I can give as fast a word, a sentence. The police was very fast. He captured the wobble. Very good. The police was very fast. He captured the robber. Okay, good. Lucy, can you give me a sentence with um, similar? Similar. Um, I am not similar. Okay, I'm not similar. Yeah, unique. yeah, you're different than other people. All right, and Raymond, can you give me one with dangerous? Fire is dangerous. Okay, good. All right, so any questions? Any questions on the synonyms? No. No. All right. Let us move on to uh, collocations. <clears throat> so a collocation, this is a big word. Maybe you've seen it. Can you see the screen? Oh. So a collocation is just a word that we use with another word. So we could say like these words, they're together. These words are married or these words are best friend and these words always go with the other word. It, they like match together. So if, if we see this word, we're always going to word together with it. Okay, and there are, these are called collocations. And in English, we have a lot of collocations and it's important to learn collocations um, because that's how we use them, especially when we speak. Okay, so a collocation, and I'm going to make this a little bit uh, smaller so we can see all the collocations on one. So we have some, the words on the left are verbs, have, do, make, take, and so on. These are all verbs. And the words on the right side are nouns, or it could be adjective, but most of them are nouns. So we have to match the word on the left with the word on the right. And some of them are easy. You might have heard them before and some might be a little bit harder, but let's see how we do with these. And the first one we have, have and I'm gonna read the nouns so that you can hear them and then uh, we'll try to answer them. So we have someone's heart, someone's eye, nothing, room, a good time, the message to war, someone's place, buy credit card, something to a disc, a secret, early. So are there any of these words on this side that you don't know? Or do you know all these words already? Are there any new words? Okay, Storm, which one do you don't know? Do you not know? What um, I don't know what I don't know what some what disc means. Okay, a disc is kind of yeah we don't use them too much anymore, but a disc could be something round. And let me pull up the dictionary if you can see this here. A disc is oh, a flat no. thin round object, like a hockey. A hockey puck would be a disc. Oh, now I know. You know? Okay, good. Oh, now I know. Okay, any other questions? All right, so we're going to match. We're going to match the, the verbs on the left with the nouns on the right. And I will draw a line. So let me move it so that I can see all of them there. All right, and we have the first one is do. What do you think we can say? Do someone's eye, do nothing, do room, do a good time, do the message. Lucy, what do you think? What do we say? Uh, nothing. Yeah, we say do nothing. 
Yeah, sometimes we don't want anyone to do anything. So we'll say like, oh, do nothing right now. Like I told my kids, do nothing right now. Just be quiet, do nothing. Okay, very good. Okay, so make, make someone's eye, make room, make a good time, make the message, make to war, make someone's place, make by credit card. Lucy, do you know, go ahead. Make room. Yeah, yeah, sometimes we need to make room. There's not enough room. There, maybe there's too much stuff on the desk or too, much, too many things in my bag. So I have to take some stuff out so I can make room. Okay, very good. The next is take. We have take someone's eye, take a good time, take the message, take to war. Okay, Lucy? Take someone's place. Take, take someone's place, yeah, very good. Yeah, we take someone's place. Maybe um, someone is doing playing basketball and they got tired or they have to go home. So you can take their place and start playing basketball instead, instead of them. Very good. And if anyone wants to answer, they can answer too. The next one is break. Break a good time. Break someone's eye. We have that one up there still. Break the message, break to war, break by credit card, break something to a disc, break a secret, break early. Who's this for? What do you think? Huh? This one is with break. Okay, Lucy, what do you think? Is it possible to break someone's eye? Uh, not that I know of. No. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, can you break something to a disc? Break something to a disc. Can you do that? Good time. Uh, we don't usually say that. Oh, okay. No. Okay, Storm? Um, break a secret? Break, okay, that's a good guess. Um, I'm going to break the secret. Um, do the secret save, keep. Yes, yeah, we don't we don't say that, but that's a good guess. Sometimes we want to break the secret. We feel like it, but we don't say it that we don't express it that way. OK, maybe we'll come back to that one. And let's go on to catch. OK, we have catch, catch someone's eye, catch a good time, catch the message, catch to war, catch by credit card, catch something to a disc. Catch some, uh, catch a secret, catch early. Okay, Lucy? Catch something to a disc? Uh, no. no. And this one might be hard because your generation doesn't really use a disc. Now we just use the USB port and we don't really save to a disc. But in my generation, we used to have a, like a round disc and we, we could save many things from the computer by a disc. So that's kind of an old word, but you might still see it on a standardized test. So it's good to know what a disc is. But this one, we would say save something to a disc. Okay. Like we save it to the USB. All right, so we're back here at catch. What do you think is catch? Go ahead, Lucy. Okay. Pay by credit card. Okay, pay by credit card. Very good. And Raymond, I saw your head, your hand up. Which one do you know, Raymond? You can say any of them. Raymond, go ahead. I saw your hand up. Go to war. Go to war. Yes. Yeah. Go. Go to war. Okay, Storm. Go ahead, Storm. Uh, cat. Catch the message. Catch the message. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna catch the message. Um, no, we don't say catch the message, but but that I wish that we could catch a message. Okay, Lucy. Keep a secret. Keep a secret. Yes, we keep a secret. We can't. We used to go like shh. Keep the secret. Don't tell anyone. Okay, Kun, do you know one? Uh, just wait a second. Okay. Or Dylan? Okay. 
Okay, Kun. Mario, come early. Come early, yes. I'm going to come early to your house. Then we're going to plan the party. Okay, and Dylan? I was going to say catch a good time. Oh, catch a good time. Um, catch a good time. No, we don't say that. But I like that, but we don't, we don't express it that way. And don't forget we have one up here too. Remember, we have this one, this one, this one. That's it. So what do we say? Break, catch, and get. We have get, catch, and break. Do we break someone's eye, catch someone's eye, or get someone's eye? What do you think? If I see something that's very beautiful at the store, okay, Lucy? Break a good time. Oh, break a good time. That's a good guess, but uh, no. Break the message. Break the message, no. Break someone's eye? No. We're going to say catch someone's eye. Why would you want to catch someone's eye? Oh, now, right. Something I'm walking by and it get, it gets my attention, then I say, oh, it catches my eye and I'm drawn to it. And oh. maybe I'm... Okay, and then get what? Get the message or get a good time? What are we going to say? Get the message or get a good time? Get or get the message. Get the message. Yeah. Did you get the message? I say. And then we're going to break a good time. All right. So these are collocations. So if we see the word do, of course we can use the word do with many other things. But if there's a choice of this word, these are always going to go together. I'm going to do nothing. Wait. Wait, scroll up for a second. Scroll, scroll up. up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let me, I have to get rid of that and then I can scroll up. Someone's oh, heart. someone's heart. We were you should break someone's heart. heart. Yeah, so that one would be break someone's heart. Yes. And then have a good time. Yeah, that's have a good have time. Have a good time. And, yeah, and break someone's heart. Yeah, we have a good time means we have fun. And if I break someone's heart, I make them sad. Okay, very good. So questions about collocations? Any questions? Uh, let me see. All right, let's move on to the reading. This is a very short reading. And this is a, a book that has a very short reading and then four short little questions. And I do this sometimes uh, for students, first of all, for vocabulary. Sometimes I use it also as fluency so, so that I can get them to read faster with more accuracy. And also we might use it for pronunciation. So um, it, does everyone know what is a sentence? When we see a period, there's a, that is one sentence. So yes. What I like to do is I want to listen to all of you read. So we'll start with Raymond. And Kuhn, Storm, Dylan, Lucy, and Wilson. Uh, Wilson should be there too. You're going to read one sentence and then stop. And then the next student will read. Okay, Raymond, you're going to start us out. The story is called Rosa to the Rescue. And think about what you would do if you were Rosa. What would you do if you were Rosa? And she's going to rescue something. Do you know what the word rescue means? Does everyone know what that means? Rescue means kind of like to save. Um, if there is a hurt animal, uh, we might rescue the animal. Like maybe I see a lost kitty cat on the street and I bring it home, I rescue it, and then I'm going to take care of it for a little while. So I, I save it. I help to keep its life. All right, so Raymond, go ahead and you're going to read the first sentence, please. Go ahead. On Saturday morning, Rosa opened the door. Okay, good. And Kuhn, next one. Kuhn, can you read the next sentence? Kuhn, where did you go? 
Can you read that then? This way. On the ground in front. In front? On the ground of hole was, was a tiny baby boy. Yeah, so Rosa opens the door one day on a Saturday morning and in front of her, she sees a very small, tiny bird. Okay, Wilson, can you read the, the next sentence, please? Okay. I'll go down high school. Over here. Rosa bent down to look at it. Okay, good. And maybe just read, read the whole, this whole the little thing. The bird did here. not move. Okay, keep going. Then its beak opened. And one more. Mom, Dad, Rosa called. Okay, very good. And Dylan, can you read? Maybe just read this whole this whole line here. Her parents came to the door. The baby was standing now. Good. The baby bird was standing. Okay, Lisa. Or sorry, Lucy, can you read the next two lines? The next two lines. Over here with it. Lucy, can you read this part here? Oh, um, it must have fallen from its nest, Rosa, Rosa's father said. I'll call the wildlife center. They will tell us what to do. You and mom just watch the little guy. Okay, very good. And then Storm, where did Storm go? Can you read the next uh, two lines, please? Um, okay, wait, which ones? So uh, starting with we. Okay. We did the right thing. Mm -hmm. The yes. dad, okay. the dad when you returned. It's good that we didn't take the bird into the house. We would have to kept we would have kept it parent from calling for it. Uh-huh, from caring for it. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh-huh, and let's Luckily. go back to uh, Raymond. Can you read the next line? Raymond? Likely the parent birds are nearby. But yeah, the whole line. Most likely the parent birds were near are nearby. They are waiting for us to leave. Okay, good. And then Wilson, um, maybe just finish this up, Wilson, please. Rosa, mom, and dad went into the house and peeked out the window. Look, I bet that's a mother bird, whispered Rosa. A large bird was poking gently at the baby. And moments later, both birds flew up to a low tree branch. Yippee, cried Rosa. Okay, very good. So this is a story about Rosa and she's rescuing uh, a little bird, right? All right, so let's take a look at the questions. The first question is, who is the passage about? Who is the passage about? Okay, Raymond. Who cares about animals? Yeah, a family who cares about animals. Yeah. Okay. And number two, how does Rosa know the bird is alive? How does she know that the bird is alive? Who can answer that? Storm? It opens its mouth. Yeah. It opens its mouth so that we, we can see that, that it's alive. Yeah. Um, yeah, the beak open. So the beak is the mouth. And we, we say for us mouth, but for the bird, it's called the beak. But that's the same meaning. Okay, very good. Number three, at the end of the passage, Rosa is what? Is she sad, quiet, worried, or happy? What do you think? Lucy, what do you think? Oh, I can't hear you because your mic is off. Uh, 
happy. Yeah, she's very happy. And she says this, yippee. And that's an expression we say when we're very happy. All right. And four, where does the passage take place? This is also known as the setting. Where does the story happen? In a park, in an office, Rose's home, Rose's school. Where does it happen? Kuhn, do you know where the story happens? Or Dylan? Where does the story happen? Who knows the answer to this? Lucy, what do you think? Go ahead. Yeah, at Rose's home. I couldn't hear you, but I could see what your mouth was saying uh, at Rose's home. At Rose's All right, very good. Okay, so very good. So today we worked on um, speaking, a little bit of conversation practice, what you like, what you dislike. We learned some new synonyms and antonyms. We talked about collocations and we did a short reading with four comprehension questions. So thank you so much for joining today. I think Ms. Joy is gonna talk a few more minutes. So please, I'm gonna turn the class back over to Joy. Okay, so please stay on the line, Joy. Hi everyone, hope you enjoyed today's class. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's class. We have good news for you. All registration before July 4th can enjoy a 10% early bird discount. So we'll email you the registration link. Uh, so your parents will get the email. Make sure you ask your parents to sign up for our official camps. Um, if you have any questions, you can either reply to the email or contact Mr. Xiaowen on WeChat. And uh, our Mr. Xiaowen will put the registration link and his uh, email and WeChat account in the chat box. Thank you all. Thank you. Everyone's muted. All right, thank you all, bye. 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 Thank you, bye. Thank you everyone for joining.